so hi everyone welcome back to data science in a pocket and as you can see on my screen i have opened up my gmail account but why today we are experimenting something new we are using chat gpt to control my gmail account yes you heard it right so before i tell you how i did this integration and all let's test it out how chat gpt is able to read my emails send emails to people and other stuff so here you can see on my screen i have opened up chat gpt and we are again using mcp super assistant if you haven't seen my previous videos you can check that out which enables mcp servers into chat gpt and this time we are using g suite mcp with chat gpt and on my right hand side you can see that we have enabled these tools google workspace search email send email modify email and what not so let's get started before i talk much let's test out the integration first so you click on the blue button attach the instructions and then ask it any question around your gmail help me summarize the last five emails that i have got on my gmail account let's test this out as you can see the mcp server has started now and let's see what it outputs one is a google security alert that i've got other is from data science pocket got one from ultimate guitar ultimate guitar and some ultimate guitar email again so these are the last five emails that i got let's cross check so as you can see they are correct i think got some promotional also so it has included everything security alert was there welcome to ultimate guitar couple of emails from ultimate guitar some promotional emails as well so it's quite correct there now this is what summarization do but can it send a um, email also let's test that out too so for now what i will be doing i will be using a dummy email id to check whether it is able to control my emails or not help me send an email to my friend george telling him about how cool model context protocol is and why he should use it his email id is example at the rate gmail.com as you can see i provide my email id also here and just give it some context let's hit enter actually the email id is dummy hence it won't be able to send the email but we would be able to see the report so in gmail you would be able to see it tried sending the email let's see whether this is possible also or not the email is on its way to george it is able to send it let me check out whether it's true or not or it's mocking things up so if you go to send section here you can see that yes it is able to send an email to example at the rate gmail.com so it's not kidding it got some gibberish text also here but i think still fine and now my chat gpt is able to control my email account as well so how did i did this i think it's pretty easy in my previous video already i have explained you how you can use gmail mcp in quite some detail how you can enable it and the link is in the description below alongside how to enable mcp super assistant as well because i have already repeated mcp super assistant multiple times now but just to give you a brief if you are a first time visitor for integration of gmail i am using g suite mcp as you can see here by rishi pradeep this is the one working for me you can try out others also and these are the tools enabled with this list email search email send email modify we are not talking about the calendar tools for now let's leave it out for now and here he has given the instructions on how to create some credentials that you would require i have already covered that in detail step by step in the previous video and the link is in the comment section below so don't worry about it these are the steps you need to do you need to create auth2 credentials for this particular integration and then install this particular google workspace mcp server in your local system and here there are certain credentials you need to pass and run this particular node script also everything is covered so i'm just running through it 
you can look out in detail in the previous video itself these are the details of the mcp server you need to add to cloud's config as you can see here it has also provided the path and if you have been following the previous video you already know it where to find the cloud config.json file you need to open cloud go to settings and there there are developer options where you can figure out the cloud desktop config if you have any confusion just check out any of my previous video on mcp so with this the gsuit mcp gets integrated but how chat gpt is able to use the mcp servers we are using mcp super assistant for that this is a chrome extension which is working fine for me you need to install this chrome extension and then just run one line npx this particular command and config pass the clods config.json files full path and then as you can see on my screen i am able to run this this is my full path see users data and eventually you can see that the local servers are enabled now and you should be able to see that blue mcp button in your chat gpt as well and now can use gmail also so with this it's a wrap i hope you try out this amazing integration of chat gpt with gmail and send your emails to anyone using chat gpt